Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kyle, and this is my continuing playthrough of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. And when we last left off, this gentleman had bested me three times in a row and four times total. How about a round of dice? I did play him one more time, and I did beat him. I actually beat him pretty handily, too. I wish I had recorded it, but aside from the little check mark there above his table, I have no proof that it was the very next time, or that I killed him. Like, slaughtered him in the game, that is. So, y'all will have to trust me. Oh. Okay. I thought it was going to be a crypt, not a... Guarded area. Ugh. The guard of our musty crypt cannot be the dead they're protecting. <clears throat> okay, well. Aid me. Be my eyes. That narrows it down. Well, they don't like my whistling. I wonder if... What am I hearing? Oh. Just some deer. If I can crawl through right here, oh boy. I'd love to kill both of those guys. No, no, you didn't see anything. Wait, unless you saw just enough to come this way. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna try to stay hidden in the... lettuce fields. I mean, if I can make it around the bends and take out everybody but those two, then those two will prove to be much less of a problem. Oh, please work. I want to dive into the... Oh, wait, maybe I don't. Doing it. <laughs> Looks like at least one is on patrol, kind of. Hey, can I? Oh, I can. Oh, I can. Can I hide more than one in there? kind of curled up for me. Okay. So. We got at least one dude on patrol. I'm not going to need that at the moment. <laughs> Two more over there. That guy having a seat is probably going to see if I kill these two. But it might not be too big a deal. Think I'll go fishing tomorrow. Oh. No, you won't. <gasps> yeah, I don't think you're going fishing tomorrow. You're gonna die. Oh, shit. Put you on a pike! I thought that guy might see me, and he did. I really don't think anybody else is going to be a problem here, although that's not good. But we're still going to put these guys where they can't really be seen. Sorry I'm thorough like that. Now we'll pick off Humpty and Dumpty over there. Oh, is that still my waypoint just in the tent? <laughs> Why did Leothrith ride out in a hurry like that? What's going on? 
His lordship wouldn't say. Strict his confidence. Was it the king's orders? And the rest of us are just supposed to stay here, like sitting ducks. If you don't cut your wailing, that's exactly what we'll be. So keep your voice down. <laughs> but I don't like this. Not one bit. You don't have to. What? Damn coward! <laughs> okay. I thought I was going to assassinate him. I guess I was mistaken. Okay, now we can take a look at these folks. I think they're both facing the other way. The problem is... It seems for some reason like if you're too close to each other, I can't assassinate you. Suffer! Perfetta. So I wonder if any... It doesn't look like any of the treasure around here is going to be... Oh no, it is. I was going to say, it doesn't look like any of it is going to be up above ground. With the weird highlight, I can never tell which direction they are facing. I think he's facing my direction, though. He was. Not anymore. Oh, I thought he had a treasure on him. Oh, boy. Come on, get down. Do we climb this one? No. Time to get this guy out of here. As night falls. Good shot. Anybody else? Okay. That is really cool. Oh boy. No! No, no, no! It can't be! Stay back! That's a bread knife, my lord. Do you mean to butter me? <laughs> stay back! Yes! Back, I say! I'll fight you! If you insist. Seriously? You'll have to kill me! I Luckily won't for you, you won't come. Me. This kingdom is mine! Why don't I have my weapons? Oh. Because I don't need them. You'll have to kill me! Got it. Time to go, my lord. We're late for the crowning ceremony. Alright. I hope it has me carry him like a good long way. That'd be cool. Ah, the letter from Burgrid, the Lord King of Mercia. His shield behind. <clears throat> I don't think we need his shield. So. 700 meters. Can I attack things with him on my back? No. I cannot. <laughs> oh, that was a surprisingly pathetic amount of ore. So, here's hoping that I can put him on my boat. If I can't put him on my boat... Well... Oh, I guess we could call a horse and throw him on the back of it. Yeah, I don't think those guys are going to be too keen on me with their king on my back. 
but on the bright side, they don't seem too bright. And there's the mast of my ship. <laughs> and they are none the wiser. And sorry, I do choose the immersion you, aspect. You, you think you've won? You haven't. Liar, Fris. I, I sent him away with orders to destroy you. Quiet. The mess you're in, you don't know the half of it. Uh, I prefer the immersion aspect of those guys just not me. You're a me. blight on this world. The whole lot of you. A rancid <laughs> disease. You don't Can deserve Mercia. To the victor, the spoils, my lord. You must win Mercia to deserve her. Cool. Can I take command? Oh, I'm on the wrong... Idiot. I was on the wrong end. Oh, that's cool. He's sitting right where I put him. He's not rolling around the boat or anything. That is very cool. I am very pleased with that result. Right until he falls out of the boat. Let the sail out. So with that support, we'll pick up. All right? Comes the problem of the game shall have to be dumbed down some. to go fast right behind you right behind who what I don't get it bring oh crap gonna feed the worms no hey Take all our horses. Holy cow, there's a lot of them. Where's the king? No. Okay, stop locking on. I want nothing to do with this. Seriously. We're gonna die here. Yeah, that seems to have just ticked Redwalda off. Come on this way. No, horse, stay there. <clears throat> Somehow I need to... Yeah, I can dodge those when you're that far away. arrows do I have? I fear I'm backing up against something. No, I wasn't. Oh, I'm out of them. Can I be cheap? Okay, we switch bows. Okay, stop. Beckons, Raven, kid. 
Okay, run. Ay, chihuahua. Uh, we're gonna head for the boat. Come on. Oh, your highness. No, we're not. We're gonna head this way. Please don't run. Horses, stop. Stop. Okay, I don't know where, where, where Red Waldo went. That's not what I want. Okay, calm down. No! Please, please, please. Now I'm on the horse. That's just so cool. It's just awesome. Carry. Go up to the horse. Place. Get on the horse. And GTFO. You look familiar? No. No, you... You godless slugs. You won't get away with this. Okay. All right. Calm down. I think we're okay. Change has come, Burgred. All that remains is a coronation. A witten with the Lords of Mercia. Burgred, my love! My lady, are you injured? Did they hurt you? No, no. I'm fine. Move along, Lord. Your king awaits. Your death will come, Danes. Your end was writ the moment you came for me. I have made damn sure of that. The zealots will know your name soon enough. No matter where you are or how far you travel, they will hunt you down. Enough of that, you squeaking sparrow. <laughs> oh, let my brother be the lunatic oh. of Tamworth. Take him away, boys. Zealots. Who does he mean? Ignore him. Desperate pleas and prophecies. Nothing more. Walk with me, Wolfkist. We have some time before the ceremony. Where to? Nowhere in particular. I only want to celebrate. Didn't think you were the type. You have drawn a dark conclusion about me, haven't you? That is all well and good. I've drawn some about you as well. Are you leading a lamb to slaughter? See what I mean? Dark. Too dark. Dark? You brought heads to the interrogation like they were you there. bowling balls. Get lost. Sit down. I know I have been a cock. But you <laughs> are a good fighter. I respect that. Let it be said. That Ivar the Boneless considers Eivor a friend. Who calls you Boneless? Some background I killed in Hibernia. Used his guts to shine my spear. Called me Boneless because I move like a reed in the wind. Not because you're always too drunk to plow? <laughs> Valhalla. That is where I am bound. I can smell the blood and taste the mead. I will sit beside the High One with my axe in hand. A fitting end for Arachnison. You would think, eh? Me, Afton, we will be there. But Uba, no. I do not think we are chasing the same victory. Not anymore. What does Uba want? To grow old and fat on a farm somewhere with little Ubas to chase about. He wants an heir. It's a common dream. Not for a warrior. Not for Drengir like us. He was different before. But this place, England, it softened him. What was he like before? Like me. Ferocious. Wild. With respect, I don't think anyone is like you. If that is a compliment, I missed it. All I mean to say is... Things were easier some time ago. If it bothers you so much, why not strike out on your own? Because he is my brother. 
I love him. And I will do what it takes to drag him back around to my way of thinking. We are warriors, all. And that is to the death. Cool, okay. I mean, Ivar's alright. He's not my favorite, but at least he admits he's a cop. <laughs> oh. Uh. He hung on to that drink until the bitter end there. What the hell? Oh. <laughs> I was like, what is going on? It's just moaning, that's all. Let me pet a dog, but not a cat. I take umbrage with that. Oh, okay. Never mind. Cool. That is a big cat. Holy cow. Look. Look. I love dogs. I am definitely a dog person. How much did we drink? Oh, boy. I don't remember this at all. I'm definitely a dog person, but you know what? I'm a cat person as well. Man, that's a big cat! <laughs> Cats are the guardians of the underworld. That's why they're always in such bad moods. Alright, let's see if I missed the coronation. I hope I didn't. <laughs> Where is my son? We sent word to Repton, but we've had no word, Lord. I suggest we carry on. No, why don't I go get him? Okay. Where's your crown, your lordship? You sought me out, old friend. And here I am, standing before the throne from which I reigned not long ago. You stand before us to accept this Witten's unanimous decision that you are unfit to rule and are hereby deposed. We demand the abdication of your kingdom and your crown to Thane Chairwolf. Mercia has spoken, Lord. The crown. Oh, he still got it? Is that you, old friend? Ah, yes, I see it now. Uh, forgive me. The robes of righteousness sit so loosely upon your shoulders. If the heavens mismark me as king, forgive its obscuring light. Amen. Now, where is my crown? Ah, okay. Forgive my nerves. Here I am, an upright man who never once learned how to bend the knee. And yet, I shall try. Ah, okay. how simple it is. How easy to kneel without fear and feeling. He's mocking you, man. I'd kill the fucker. <laughs> Worry not, Dane. I shall resign this crown and this pagan-infested kingdom and the favors of these two-faced men. But I will do so on my terms. My demands are simple. Firstly, you must... <laughs> 
You fool. Look around you. You have no leverage here. Plead for your life. For it is the only thing these men will grant you. Yes. Yes. Forgive me. I, I... Do not harm me. I beg of you. Please. I'll go anywhere. Here. I, 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 I resign it. Here. Take this lord and his wife to Rome. He is hereby exiled. Never to return. To Rome? That's a little bit of a walk. And swim. The Witten recognizes King Chairwolf of Marcia, second of his name. A just king. Here, a here. merciful king. God save the king. You better be worth all this trouble. Seriously. Mercian soldiers marching on Repton. Uh oh. Leofried. Loyal to the ugly and the bastard. Gather what men you have and split them between the north and south gates. That should divide his forces. Cheobert is there. Eivor, you must save my son. He will come through can. this. I promise. I will stay here with Cheobert. Go. Something's telling me I should save it. I don't know. I've had crashes before. Granted, it does auto-save, so probably not a problem. Okay, traveling to Repton. Oh boy, I don't think this is the way to go. How the hell do I get out of here? <laughs> I'm way up on the hill. Look out! Sorry. Sorry. I didn't mean to show your health bars. Repton is to the north. I'm headed east. Or south. Hey! Oh, this doesn't look good. This doesn't look good at all. Oh, okay, sorry. Holy crap. Have you seen Chael Belt? No, but we caught sight on Leo fleeing across Get the river. Get up. He's chasing someone. It has to be Chael Belt. He is the only prize worth it. taking from this mutt. Uh, uh, I gotta save his son. Jeez, this place is gonna fall. Hurt, hurt, hurt. Follow my lead. Fear got your belly, dog. Shut up. Come on, hoof it. Hoof it. <laughs> Wait, where is he? Hello? Jailbound. He's in trouble. I won't back down. You please. You do not want to do this. Leofred. Let him walk. You answer to me. I answer to my king. Our silence deeds with this. Not me. Not today. Lay it by, Leofren. There's nothing left to fight for. We've stormed Repton. Only a matter of time. I cannot do that. Then you will die. Someone will. Ha! You can't win this, Leofren. Even if you defeat me, the Rachnesons have won the day. I have fought many a day in my time. I am still standing. How does it feel? To treat me like you do. I? 
I I will make you feel pain. Come on then, make me feel pain. You're slowing. Bah! You are strung with pain. Urquid was lucky. To stand in the way of you and Mercia is my duty. I will die before I Oh, yield. I still don't have any arrows. Crap. You're finished. Not yet. Fight me, heathen. Oh, he swings twice. What an idiot. I mean me, not him. Take that! Come on, bring it over here. Not bad for a heathen. You cannot win! I, I don't have any... Uh... You're good, but I'm better. I don't think you are. Damn. He's doing well. Take that. Come on. <laughs> Go on then. End it. No appeal to your god or your king. I swore an oath to serve Borgrid to the death. I fought. I lost. We both know how this goes. Yeah, but to me that's kind of an honorable uh... thing fighting a dishonorable war. Whatever. Borgrid abandoned him, betrayed his trust. If I were Leovrid. I would want to know. Why rob him of this last glory? A warrior ready to meet his god and bask in his praise. To live will only lead him to shame. It's not an oath he would keep if he knew the truth. Then choose. Truth or glory. Oh, it's gonna make me pick. I have never been... The guy who would say, yeah, okay, kill me. I don't know if he's got a wife. I don't know if he's got kids. This is a very difficult decision for me to make. I get that, yes, kill, pray to your god. But if I spare him, there is extenuating circumstances here. Yes, if this was just a fight to the death, then we kill. He prays to his god, and I end him. But Burgred abandoned him. He turned his back on the guy. Stand. Leofrid, live to fight another day. What? Your loyalty to Burkrid is not a loyalty returned. Right. He resigned the crown and fled to Rome. He's gone. You lie. Lie to a man seconds from death? What would I gain? He saved himself and left you to die. Right. All exactly. All this fighting, it's for nothing. For no one. To betray one so trusted. So close. It's a dishonor worth a thousand deaths. Right, exactly. So get up. Eivor, you have shown me a great kindness. It, it is only fitting that I do the same. Brilliant. At Venonis, there is a statue with a scroll laid in a small bowl. You must burn it. A scroll? Your name is on this scroll. Ooh. At Burgred's request, I put it there. When it is found, the zealots who read it will hunt you. Who are they? It doesn't matter now. You haven't much time. Burn the scroll, or they will never stop hunting you. I will do that. Where will you go now? Rome. <laughs> Come on, let's take you back. I love all of this. I'm serious. Careful, you're injured. I'm all right, really. 
A few nicks and cuts from the battle, that's all. There These he wounds goes. will heal quickly. You're lucky. I threw myself at him, Avel. But he only toyed with me. He knew I couldn't touch him. You should have stayed hidden. Jailbird, this wasn't your fight. It was. It was our fight. Yours, mine, my father's. I had to help. And you did. You showed courage today. Bravery. You are a boy no longer. <laughs> Please get on the horse. Back okay. there with Leofrith. I didn't think you'd spare him. There's no honor in killing a man misled. He believed his king would die fighting for Mercia. He knows the truth now. And with that truth, he forges a new path. You were right about him, Chilbert. And right to believe the line that divides us can be thinner than it seems. What a mess. They're picking up bodies for days. But at least we're back here. and battle-worn. Could be chieftain of your own clan with courage like that. No less than the King of Mercia, brother. One of these days. And how is my father taking to his new role? See for yourself. You're an Otlinger now. Or Othling, I think you'd say. Next in line for the throne. It's an honorable title. One that demands good judgment. Be careful who you trust. My son. Are you well? Yes, father. Well enough. He honored you today. Fought bravely against many stalwart foes. You have my thanks. All of you. And my blessing. What happens now? Word of Burgred's deposition will spread quickly. The other kingdoms of England will soon enough know that Mercia has a new king. The remaining kingdoms of England won't respect your path to power. Nor will many in my kingdom. Burgred's soldiers will stand tall in the face of this turmoil, all across Mercia, against us. That we shall remedy soon enough. I am riding for Oxenifordshire directly, to forge an alliance with some thanes there. Shall I go with you? Not till I know more. Linger here a while if you can. Strengthen our friendships. I will send for you soon enough. Sigurd, I would feel better if Chaelbert was away from here until Mercia is more stable. Would you welcome him among your clan? Hmm. Do you have a horse, young Aveling? I do. A young steed called Theobald. Good. I can ride with you as far as the river Nene. You may find your way from there. Thank you, Sigurd. This puts my mind at ease. Be ready for my call, Eivor. It will come. You and Sigurd make a good pair. The future of England will be pagan from top to bottom. <laughs> Take this, Wolfkist, as a sign of friendship. It's an armoring. I should you call. The brothers Ragnarsson will come. I know you that honor now. me, Uber. See that? Slight. Bastard trying to win your heart. Well, two can play at that game. <laughs> How kind of you, Ivar. My pleasure. Our friendship is the best thing to come from this mess. Maybe Chelbert, too. The brave little twig. That is good to hear. He's not really a twig. Awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. Leofrid said there are hunters after me. Zealots. If I don't clear my name, I will be marked for death. I should head to Venonis. How far away? Two clicks. Alright. That. Don't burn. <laughs> that was so very, very cool. Now it seems the wind calls me back to Ranji. Let's tell her the good news.
So, we will call it here. I'm just going <laughs> to climb up and take a peek from the top of the steeple in the middle of the night. The middle of the night that's a little bit too bright. Just a bit. I mean, the moon is out. I don't know. Maybe it's not. No, no. It's a little too bright. Anyhow. Um, this is spectacular. I love all of this. I am completely invested. Oh, yeah. There's a... There's another anomaly over that way. I will head that way at some point. Oh, should we watch the sunrise? Is that something we should do? We'll watch the sunrise, but I'll end it here. And then we will just watch as the sun comes up. You can either hit the exit button or continue to watch. I thank everybody who did decide to watch, especially Dylan, Joe, Jaffo. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. It means a lot. I appreciate it. And you guys will hear my voice and you will see my gameplay on the next one. The parchment must be burned before the next dusk. Oh, I guess we'll end this here right now and then and, and, and rush there because the sun's going to come up and then we're burning daylight, so. Okay, bye.